Okay, Rachel, I thought I'd do a little video of, of your problem. I, I still couldn't see your problem, so I may have got the numbers wrong, but hopefully you'll get the idea just from the explanation. Your problem was, they told you sine of x, where x is an angle, equals 3 over 5. They told you that x is somewhere between 0 and pi over 2, which means, I guess I should draw this, in a circle... You know, you start over here, and pi pi would be all the way 180 degrees. So pi over 2 means it's, it's between there and there. So the, the angle of x is somewhere in there. We don't know what it is, but it's let's just draw a cartoon and say that's the angle of x right there. Okay, they told you you know that, and they said evaluate, and this is what I don't, I couldn't read the, the thing, so I may have got these numbers wrong, but the idea is right. They said evaluate sine of x plus 11 pi plus cosine of x minus 12 pi plus tangent of x plus 9 pi. Okay, so what you need to do, you take the first thing they told you, sine of x equals 3 over 5. And what that means is you have a triangle and you have right here you have I drew a little triangle and x is this angle over here kind of the same thing as the same thing as the angle there I've just drawn the triangle part and sine means the opposite over the hypotenuse so they told you sine of x is 3 over 5 so I've got a triangle 3 over 5 and I know Pythagore, Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared right so I labeled this side W. I could have picked A or B or whatever. I said W squared plus 3 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. W squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. So let's solve for what this other side is. W squared equals 5 squared is 25. And then I'm going to take this over here. and So minus 9. If I do 3 squared, it's 9. And I bring it over here, minus 9. So W squared equals 25 minus 9, which is 16. So then if I take, I've got W squared, so I've got to take the square root. So W equals the square root of 16. So W equals 4. So I have this, so the triangle ends up being a 3, 4, and a 5. The 5 is the hypotenuse. And so, and that's where the angle is X. So the definition of Sines and cosines, if you know 3, 4, and 5, the cosine of x is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it's 4 over 5. The sine of x, they already told you, is 3 over 5, but it's the opposite over the hypotenuse. The tangent is the opposite over the adjacent, 3 over 4. So you've got those. I'm just telling that's important to the problem. So let's go down to your problem here. The first term is sine of x plus 11 pi. We'll just work on that before we do the others. So I, what I did was drew a circle here and you know we know this is a horizontal line we know x is some angle here but it but this is x plus 11 pi and 1 pi is halfway around so if I said if I said this is x Question is, what is x plus 11 pi? So there's x. Well, x plus pi, 1 pi is here, is that line. x plus 2 pi brings it back to where I started. 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, 9 pi, 10 pi. So if I'm in an even number, 10 pi, I'm back to where I started. But that's 11. So 11 pi is this x and then halfway around. So x, that's what I scribbled here, x plus 11 pi is on the exact, if that, if that angle over here is x, the angle that's exactly opposite it right there is x plus 11 pi. And so what I have is I have a triangle over here that is 3, 4, 5. Well, this triangle is just the mirror image of it. It's 3, 4, 5, but if this is the center, this is plus, plus direction, and up is plus direction. Going to the left is minus direction. So 
the sine of this angle over here, which is x plus 11 pi, is, is sorry, it's, it's this, which is minus 3 over 5. So it's minus 3. I should, oops, there it is right there. So the sine of x plus 11 pi is minus 3 over 5. So we just do, so that's your first term. And then we just repeat the process for the other terms. The next term is, at least I think it was cosine x minus 12 pi. So again, if that's your angle x, cosine would be 4 over 5, but it's x minus 12 pi. So if I say there, if I go minus 1 pi, 2 pi, 3, I just keep going around. At 12 pi, because it's a multiple of 2, I end up back at the same spot. So x minus 12 pi is the exact same triangle as x. So cosine of x minus 12 pi is just cosine of x, which is 4 over 5, because this triangle we're dealing with is 4 over 5. And then the last term is tangent of x plus 9 pi. Maybe it was minus 9 pi. I don't know. It won't, it won't really matter. Same thing, here's, we start out with x, and we're going, it's an odd number, so we're not going to end up at the same spot, we're going to end up on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're going to end up over here. So it's tangent, so we're going to end up over here, so it's going to, tangent is the, is the opposite over the adjacent. So it's minus 3, because we're going down, and this... This is minus 4 because we're going that way. So the tangent of this angle over here, x plus 9 pi, is minus 3 over minus 4. And the minuses cancel each other out, so it's just 3 over 4. So... It doesn't look like a 4, but... <laughs> well, I didn't draw it very good. So the first term, go back to, was minus 3 over 5. And then the middle term was Where are you writing them? plus 4 over 5. And the last term, which I think is an addition, is plus 3 over 4. So we have to do those. So what I'm going to do is collect my terms. Minus 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5. Those are both over 5. So I, can, I get a minus 3 and a plus 4. So that becomes 1 over 5 plus 3 over 4. Now I've got a different denominator, so I've got to I've got to get them to the same denominator. So I'm going to take on this one. I'm going to multiply it by four, so the top and the bottom by four. So that becomes four over twenty. Plus this one, I need to put a five down there, so that becomes four times five, and the top times five. Uh, is that a three? That, yeah, that's a terrible three. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a. 3 times 5 is 15 over 4 times 5 is 20. So I've got 4 plus 15 over 20. So I have 19 over 20 is the answer I get. I hope that's right.